Hi, I'm Heather McCullough. Welcome to Kids Club. Michelle, how do we keep peace in our home? How do we create harmony with our kids? Um, well, I think the first thing is really important is to, to make sure that you have some kind of idea of what it is that you want to your kids to be as they grow up. So what is your parenting purpose? Um, what are you hoping that they're going to grow into? Um, and then from there, creating some general expectations with your kids of what kind of things you're expecting within your home and as, as, as members of your family. Mm -hmm. So how are they going to respect themselves? How are they going to respect each other? How are they going to respect the home itself? Um, and then once you've kind of got an idea of what you're expecting, then you can kind of sit down and say, okay, here's some limits or boundaries that mm -hmm. we're going to set right now while we're happy and content and things are going well. Let's sit down and talk about what are the rules or the mm -hmm. boundaries that we're going to we're have in place in our home. And it's really important that the kids are a part of that process. Okay. Um, it's important that they um, have some responsibility in setting those boundaries um, and, and setting them appropriate to their age and abilities as well. Okay, you don't yes. want to set something for a younger child, like a four or five year old, that they're really not going to have a lot of opportunity to be successful in. I know that if I choose to come home late, or I know if I choose to not do my homework, or I hang up the phone on my mom when I'm talking to her. Not that I know my that the <laughs> never done that ever before. No, <laughs> um, but these are you know I know if I choose to do the inappropriate behavior. Yeah. I know what consequence I'm choosing in, in return of that. So what happens when I follow through with my responsibilities and the expectations and what happens when I don't follow through? It, okay, what happens if you don't go to bed now? So having that set yes. um, ahead of time mm -hmm. and so that it's kind of their choice now. Mm -hmm. um, it's their responsibility. I choose um, to, to follow through or I choose not to follow through. And then it doesn't always all come back down on the parent. Uh, you're not to blame for them losing their, uh, their phone for a day because it was their choice to do the inappropriate behavior. What are some of the typical things that, that parents may choose to do? Um, when it, I, I mean, it does depend on yes. the family and, mm -hmm. and the child. Um, I think when it comes to the, the expectations, having curfews, um, having you know the, some responsibilities mm -hmm. that they need to follow through with some chores, homework, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Um, having set bedtimes and some routine in the home is really important, okay. especially for your younger kids, but even so for your older kids as well. Structure and routine is, is important, so kind of structuring your, your boundaries or your limits around what you're expecting. And then consequences, you really want to make them so that they're appropriate for the, that particular child. Really, so, really painful is what it yes. <laughs> Taking a yeah. cell phone away from a teenager, I just have to say, yeah, that, that has a lot of impact. <laughs> well, yeah, and if, they are, if, if that's something that's really yeah. important to them and they're mm -hmm. really attached to it, then it's going to have some meaning. So it's going to have some worth. Hey, you're an hour late. Uh, hi, Mom. I know. But I think also we want to make sure that the consequence is is reasonable to the offense kind of thing, right? You don't want to ground a child for three weeks for coming home half an hour late, right. whereas more, you know, okay, well, for the next two nights, you need to come home an hour earlier. It doesn't matter what mood a parent is in. Right. So if you're really upset and you've, or you've had a really bad day and your child does something that, you know, is somewhat inappropriate, you know, okay, you lose TV for half an hour. Well, you're having a really bad day, so all of a sudden it's you lose TV for a week, and you're, then it's hard to follow through because then is, you feel because bad. because then when you're feeling better, yeah. you're going like, okay, well, that was way too big. <laughs> and then you're going back on it. And that's yeah. the biggest thing with, okay. with setting limits and mm -hmm. boundaries is being consistent. And especially if you have um, two parents in your home, doesn't matter which parent is home, the consequence is the same. So it's not playing mom and dad against each so other. So they know what to expect. Exactly. These are fantastic <laughs> tips. I think I'm going to plan a family meeting. It's yeah, the other thing to do. Absolutely. I'm Heather McCullough. This has been the Kids Club, and we'll see you again next time. Kids Club is brought to you by the Boys and Girls Clubs of Kawartha Lakes, a good place to be. For more information, visit bgckl.com.